Hey, do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. Crystal loves Jesus. Um, and this man loves Jesus too. And he had an incredible raptor dream. So I wanted to share this because um, Crystal Love for Jesus found this. And it's really, really powerful. Um, and you know, I think that a lot of people who are they just they just don't understand our blessed hope they don't understand when when the bible says in revelation 3 10 this is jesus speaking he says because you've obeyed the command to persevere i will keep you from the time of testing that will come upon the whole earth hold fast do not let anyone take away your crown and as we're watching and we're being given these rapture dreams. We're supposed to share them. So I had shared um, a rapture dream that I had on November 2nd, flying up with the cat. I, You know, people that are post-trib or mid-trib, they don't believe in the pre-trib rapture. They don't see the joy that we have that Jesus is coming. They, they don't um, understand that the church is the bride of Christ who is going to be taken out of here, escaping what is coming upon the whole earth. And then you've got the tribulation, which is seven years during the time of Revelation 6 through Revelation 19. And then at the end, Revel uh, at the end of Revelation 19, Jesus comes back down to earth on a white horse and we're all on our white horses too. So anyway, I had, and then I had the uh, uh, a dream about being in a wedding dress and singing my Jesus, I love thee. That was uh, on October 22nd, and then September 20th, I had a rapture dream too. So I thought, I will share, what. and Crystal Love for Jesus, I've emailed with her before. She is in a covenant marriage, first marriage for both people, which is really, really important to me, really important to me. So uh, I just wanted to share this, and hopefully it encourages people, and y'all can share it too. Um Crystal says, normally Crystal gives the link to the original video, but for some reason he took it down. I don't know why. So that's why we, even more important that we share this. So here we go. Let me go back to the beginning so you can see. Oh, well, hello. God bless you guys. I pray you're having a blessed and awesome that everything Oops, looked sorry. like time stopped. Because sorry, I got, I was going to increase the volume. Uh, hang on a second. Let me increase the volume. Up we go. Okay. All day in the Lord Jesus. It's me, Crystal for Jesus here, back with another video. So today we have Todd Oswald, and he had a rapture dream. So um, he said that he shared this many times before, but he hasn't done it in the format of a video like this. So glory to God for that. You guys getting bold, coming out, sharing your rapture dreams, just everything that you're experiencing is so such a blessing, right? And we're getting to see that God is really speaking to us and sending these dreams and visions out to us. This is the only way we're going to really know that God is talking is when we actually start seeing, like when we come out and we actually start talking about it. So glory to God, let's go ahead and get into this and experience what exactly he had seen. So let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Todd and I want to share with you my rapture dream. I've shared this dream and experience many, many times publicly, but I've never done it in this format. And I figured I uh, have the opportunity, the means and uh, the ability to do it. Um, and so I wanted to share this with you. Hopefully this will encourage you or inspire you in some way. This dream happened for me several years ago, actually in 1995, when my wife and I had first gotten married. Um, we had taken a trip down to Orlando, Florida from the Detroit area and we drove being that was on our honeymoon and finances when you're a young couple just starting out uh, weren't there to do all the things that we wanted to do so we ended up driving straight through and we stayed at a condominium down in the Orlando area and I can remember getting there very very early in the morning around three four in the morning so we were exhausted and we just wanted to crash you know we just wanted to lay down and take uh, take a rest so as we were laying there, <clears throat> I remember laying on my uh, my stomach and um, we had the fan on above us so I could hear a light hum of the fan, the breeze. It felt wonderful. It was very warm during that time down there. And I can remember the light starting to peer through the window. It was early, early morning. 
and I had uh, started to wake up very, very slowly. I knew I only had gotten a couple of hours of sleep, but I knew, um, you know, here we're on this honeymoon, so I should probably get up and get around there. And all of a sudden, as I began to open my eyes, slowly opening my eyes, I heard this loud, unbelievable what we would call a trumpet sound now if you've listened to any of these rapture dreams that's what they all say they hear is a trumpet sound when mine was more well i'm basically gonna do i've had trumpet sounds in i've heard trumpet sounds too but not in my rapture dreams but i've heard trumpet sounds that sounded so real just like i've heard knocks on the door that sounded so real okay sorry more like a freight train sound. Uh, it was one continuous sound, but it was so deep, so loud, it almost vibrated everything within my body, my bones. I could feel it in my, my blood vessels, if that even makes sense. And when that happened, when that went off, I opened my eyes and I saw my bride next to me and she opened her eyes and looked at me too. And I knew instantly, I didn't have to guess what it was. I wasn't wondering what it was. I wasn't thinking we were under attack. I knew this was the rapture. And as in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, the Bible says that I begin to change. And what I mean by that is I came out of my body. I could physically and um, visually see myself leave my body and it happened so fast. So what I'm explaining to you didn't take place over minutes. It, it was instant, just like that. And what I seen was my, my spirit separating from my body. And I seen myself come up through my body. And I seen the room from a bird's eye view. I seen every detail in that room. The colors were more vibrant than I've ever remember seeing them. And I was coming through the, the air. And then I came through the ceiling. And then I came through the roof of the condominium. And I'm telling you, this experience was more lifelike than I have ever experienced anything. Um, I know we experience things in dreams, but this was reality. This was so real. I could smell, I could perceive um, things that were happening around me. I felt the warmth of the sun. I felt the, the wind. I felt all my senses were heightened beyond imagination. I mean, they were just beyond comp comprehension, I should say. And just like you would see, the best way I can explain this is just like you would see a rocket ship, like, or let's say like uh, one of the rockets, uh, Elon Musk now has got uh, all these rockets that take up, and you see the camera that's pointing down the earth, and like in Michigan we have, uh, let's see, so we have the, the, the mitten, if you will, and as you're pulling away, you could see the mitten, you know, the higher you go up. Well, this is how it was for me, but I was seeing Florida. I seen the whole, I, I started seeing Orlando, and then I started seeing a bunch of land and some, some pockets of different uh, lakes that were around there, and I was going up, and as I looked over, I was seeing these shafts of light just, <laughs> I mean, it was, it was amazing to watch, and I watched the whole outline of Florida kind of appear and it got smaller and smaller and smaller and I, I was looking around and I was just screaming this is it this is it this is the rapture I'm going home I'm going home and I and, and, and I, I was traveling at an unbelievable speed and, and here's the thing it, it's I I remember at that moment and I recall it even now that I thought there was going to be so many more shafts of light than I was seeing leave the earth but it was just very sporadic. I mean, there was a lot, don't get me wrong, but there wasn't as many as I thought. I mean, these shafts of light were just like you, you, like the shootings of a star. Like if you looked up at night and you seen a shooting star, imagine that coming from earth going up. And I was one of those shafts of light leaving this earth going into the, the, the heavens, right? That's the best way I can explain it. And so um, as this was happening, like I said, I could see the earth, the earth started to dissipate. And, and again, I'm explaining this. It's, it looks like it's taken five minutes to explain this to you. But the reality was, is it happened just like that. There wasn't time for me to say, oh, Lord, please help me. Forgive me. Let me get right. I see what's going on. I hear this. It, there wasn't any time for that. It was in a moment. It was in a twinkling in of eye, just like the Bible says. I heard the trumpet sound or whatever that sound was. I'll say it's a trumpet just to be biblically correct. I heard that freight train sound and I left this earth out of my body and I was going to meet the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Um, I can remember, I know I just said this, but I can remember 
somewhat of a little bit of a puzzledness as I looked around and I didn't see a lot of shafts of light. I mean, I seen a lot, but I didn't see as many as I thought I would see. I thought I would see millions and millions and millions of people going to meet the Lord, but there wasn't as many as I thought. Now, I don't know what that number was. I don't know, you know, it had to be in the millions of these lights that I could see, but it wasn't in the billions like we have on this earth today, 7.8 billion people. And so I just wanna encourage you, if this ministered to you, if this helped you, get ready. I've shared this over and over. That dream has helped solidify and shape my life so much that I'm a pastor now and I share the gospel with as many people as I can because I want them to be one of those shafts of light that leave this earth when he calls us home. Um, if you're listening, I don't think it's coincidental. I, 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 I want to encourage you just to make sure that your life is right with Jesus. Call on his name. Ask him to forgive you. Ask him to be the Lord of your life because I'm telling you, he is coming. Everybody that's had one of these experiences knows we are so close. If you're living close to the Father, if you're living close to Jesus, we all know on the inside something is up. Something is about to take place. I'm telling you, it's your spirit, man, being called by the Father to make yourself ready like a bride makes herself ready for the groom on a wedding day. Get yourself ready. I hope this ministered you. I can't wait to see you in the air. I love you. I'm praying for all the believers. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Oh, I love it so much. Thank you, brother, for sharing this. Glory to God. And that is so, so powerful. And it's so true. It's like everyone who's experiencing that, that you know, it's like, when the rapture happened, the first one that I had, it was like, bam, you don't even know what just happened. All you know is something feels different. Like it was so fast, you know, it was so fast. And, you know, a lot of us have dreams where it actually slows down, you know, and we're seeing like a slow motion of like what is actually happening, you know, because in my second rapture dream, God just stopped. He just stopped time, you know, he just stopped yeah, he stopped. It was like he stopped time or, 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 you know, it's, it happened so, cause he's outside of time, you know, it happened so quickly that everything looked like time stopped because God can go in between those seconds, you know, and just like be in that second, you know, and just, pew, and like everybody goes up, you know, and when I saw people going up too, I, it, you know, I saw like gold shimmery, like shimmery gold and people are going up, you know, and they're, and they were going up to meet Jesus in the sky. And I saw Jesus in the sky and he was this bright ball of white, you know, light. And I knew it was Jesus and, you know, I didn't go, <laughs> but yeah, oh. but I did have a third rapture dream, you know, that I went, but, um. It was so short and brief, you know, all I felt was the angel grab my wrist like this and, uh, you know, start shooting up into the sky uh, and like super fast speed. I felt like Superman when Superman goes like this, you know, and it's like like that. Like I felt what it felt like to be Superman, you know, except for, you know, it wasn't my own power flying. It was somebody grabbing me. But. Yeah, so glory to God that we're all having these dreams and it's like, get right right now because he's coming. He's coming soon and we need to get right. We need to get ready. We need to be ready. We need to be preaching. We need to be all over the place. And so glory to God, you guys, if you have had a rapture dream, you need to share it. You need to post it to YouTube. You need to get it out there. Glory to God, you guys. And so if you made it to the end of this video, please leave below down in the comments um, some trumpets and some angels, but they have angels. I love you guys. And I'll see you again soon in the next one. Bye. So isn't that great? Now his thing was really an experience, not, um, a dream, which is really amazing. Really, really amazing. But for me, um, usually mine start out that I'm floating I start floating up which of course I've been changed into my glorified body even though I'm not looking at my body and I have my hands in the air and I just like him I go through the ceilings I go through ceilings it's the strangest thing occasionally I've had a dream where I've been outside um one rapture dream I had I saw a huge planet 
rising up and I looked up and the moon was above me and I couldn't see, I couldn't tell whether the moon was what phase of the moon it was, but I was saying, this is the rapture, this is the rapture. And there were only about eight, I'd say eight to 10 people that were flying up with me. Other times it's just me or like in this last one, it was me and a cat, (laughs) you know? Anyway, um, I just thought that that would encourage y'all and, um, you know, God bless Crystal for, for putting these up because it is, you know, when we have all these scoffers and mockers, um, you know, if you don't believe, you don't have the faith to believe, then you really don't know Jesus. I hate to say it, but come on. Jesus speaks to his sheep. He gives us dreams. He gives us visions. He tells us, uh, do not fear. I'm coming to take you and receive you to myself. And he's up in heaven, sitting at the right hand of God, the Father, and the Holy Spirit in us is the restrainer. So I have a lot of videos about how to, you know, how to get saved, how to repent. Um, check out my my left behind letter. I had paused it at 1616, which I saw yesterday. For those people who think that we can't see numbers, I was driving down the road and I saw the truck next to me had 1616 on it, which is Mark 1616. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned, I think is what it is. Look it up, Mark 1616. Anyway, I'm bringing this up because he said how few... He was surprised how few were going up. And my channel is not just about the preacher rapture. It is also about the elephant in the church, the Trojan horse in the church that people don't believe that they have to repent of sin. So I just pulled up this video that the rapture is really pre-tribulation. If you know Jesus, fornication, adultery, sins of the flesh. Okay. And, um, you know, it's a 43 minute long thing you're not gonna you're not gonna get the truth in a tiktok length video you know in a short in a youtube short you're not gonna get the truth um but i'm just gonna show you this i'll put it in the description box but the message must be clear that there's no exceptions no excuses is remarriage a marriage no it's adultery and whoever jesus said whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery Do adulterers go to hell? Yes, adulterers go to hell. They do not inherit the kingdom of God. No exceptions for those once really saved and the false security and sin doctrines like once saved, always saved. Won't excuse anyone on judgment day. In 1 Corinthians 6, 9 and 10, get your Bible and look it up. In Galatians 5, 19 through 21, Paul told baptized, justified, and cleansed Christians that if they live this type of sin... Whoops, sorry. Uh, if they lived in this type of sin, they would not inherit the kingdom of God. So a watchman or a watchwoman like I am, who's watching for the rapture, we're supposed to sound the alarm. You know, sorry for my, it's not my best trumpet sound today, but um, we're supposed to warn people about repenting. And then that's what I do because I love you. <laughs> I want more people to be going up. Yesterday, I got to talk to um, a lady who believes the rapture is about to happen. And she was saying the same thing. She was like, the family, Satan has attacked the family. So what is repentance? It's a change of mind that leads to a change of heart that leads to a change of action. In salvation, this change involves both a turning from sin and a turning to God, which is Proverbs 28, 13, and 2 Corinthians 7, 10. Godly sorrow produces repentance that leads to salvation. Um, and then here is a list of rapture verses. You can look them up yourself. You know, it's you know it's really kind of sad. How many Americans have a Bible in their house? This is the way I grew up, you know. I mean, we went to church on Sundays. We had my, you know, I got a Bible, my... I, for my Christmas, I got a Bible. My parents gave me this beautiful Bible. But, you know, you have to actually know what the Bible says. So these are the rapture verses. And that's the big one. John 14, 1 through 3. That was Jesus saying, I will receive you to myself. And he is up in heaven. And then Revelation three ten at the bottom of the list says he will keep us from the hour of testing. 
So, um, and Second Thessalonians two three, if you can see, like right right around there, um, that is how the apostasy, and that is what we are seeing. People will not tolerate sound doctrine. A person who lives in continual and habitual sin just whoops, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm just showing some portions of this video, but if, you know, I'm just talking probably to the choir. Um, but a person who lives in habitual and continual sin, as just as he did before he claimed Christ, is not a Christian. Genuine redemption always manifests itself in righteous living. And, you know, that pastor's trying to get people saved, too. And that's what I'm doing. That's what Crystal is doing. And the way to get saved is to allow God to give you godly sorrow versus worldly sorrow. Godly sorrow is painful for a season. It brings repentance, the conviction of sin, confession it leads to Jesus and the cross. It leads to salvation and peace with God, and it leaves no regret. Godly sorrow produces repentance that leads to salvation. And then you do everything you can to live that righteous life, not by your own works, but because you have received the Holy Spirit, you know, who is called the restrainer, and he restrains you from sinning. That's, you know what the Holy Spirit does. He restrains you from sinning. And so anyway, you can, um, you can check out this. And I just wanted to share that pastor's dream. And this is the difference between the rapture versus the return. Um, and you know, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, you know, I just tell you what the Bible says. <laughs> there are a lot of people that are not telling you what the Bible says. So the rapture is our translation. The second coming is Jesus coming down to establish his kingdom. And I think that's a, like a really important slide to show you. And, um, you know, take a screenshot of it. And then really think about it. Take a screenshot of this and then go through all the scriptures and be able to you should be able to read those scriptures and understand and then tell others, tell your loved ones. Okay, so you don't know the day and hour. You don't. But you, do, if you know that the rapture is going to happen, don't you want these people to know why you disappeared? Yeah, I, I would want them to know. <laughs> yeah, this was a song I sang. Have faith in God when your pathway is lonely. Have faith in God. Yeah. He knows all the way you've trod. Never alone are the least of his children. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. He's on his throne. Have faith in God. He watches o'er his own. He cannot fail. He must prevail. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Maranatha. Love y'all. Thanks for watching. And try to speak to someone. Every time you go out, try to speak to someone about Jesus is coming. You'll be surprised that people are concerned about a lot of things. They're, they have a lot of anxiety and concerned about a lot of things. But if you know Jesus, if you know God the Father, he is going to come and God the Father is going to say, Son, go get your bride. And then we are going to see the dead rise first. And then we who are alive and remain will be caught up to meet him in the air. God bless you and Maranatha. And thanks for watching.